Well, it's not true, actually, that we don't have <coughs> sufficient um, biographical information of Michel Pignolet de Monteclair. Um, he was an honnête musicien. Um, he was a hard-working Parisian musician um, who played, wrote, taught. Um, he wrote music, but he also wrote a very good theoretical treatise, which I use because essentially it tells um, people who need to know about musical details, uh, 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 especially uh, performance practice, what to do. So essentially, he, he's important f still today for us because he can explain how to do something. Um, you mentioned that uh, Ramo held him in esteem. Yes, he's a very good composer. Um, he wrote some very good opera, and he also wrote some extremely good cantatas, as well as some very good instrumental music. Um, uh, one can follow his career. Um, there are no real problems of, in terms of his biographical data. Um, he's part of a generation that is less well considered because of where they fall geographic, uh, chronologically. Um, Comprat, Monteclair, Mondonville, um, and you could add to those three an enormous list of others, uh, happened to fall between the death of Lully and the beginnings of the career, the, the big career, the operatic career of Jean-Philippe Rameau. In other words, we're talking about essentially the end of the 17th century up until 1730, 1733. It's a long period in musical history. Um, to consider it to be a, 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 an arid, uh, uneventful moment is to be very wrong indeed. Uh, Campra, comme Mondonville, comme Monteclair, uh, these are composers who are very important. And again, um, when we first started out with the Art Florissant, our idea was to put people back into their proper importance, which meant that very early on, we started working on Compra. We started working on Monoville, and we did a lot of work with Monteclair. Um, I recorded the Jefte, which is a, a brilliant piece, um, a piece that should be put back on stage, uh, it's certainly one of the great biblical operas, as good as the Jefte Oratorio of Handel, certainly. Certainly as good as the Carissimi. Uh, far more sort of involved, very ambitious when it comes to uh, orchestration and vocal writing. Rameau was dead right in liking it because it prefigures a number of things that he was preoccupied with, namely colorful, orchestration, um, interesting harmonic effects, um, very subtle use of chorus and, uh, and orchestra. Um, and he, again, he's someone who is, is far more in, uh, known today than he was in 1981 or 82 or 83, um, but there's still much to be done. <laughs>